Hi friends, welcome back to White Bowie Soaps. This is Penny, I am the soap artist here. Today we are going to be making some cold process soap. We're going to be playing with these neon pigments today. I have never made soap with these colorants uh, before. I have used neons in the past, but just not from Stardust Micas. And I'm excited to see how they compare to the others I have used. These come in a 10 gram container. Uh, there's six in here. I'll throw each color up on the screen. It comes with electric yellow, orange magma, poppin' pink, green lightning, cosmic blue, and purple orchid. Each 30 milliliter jar is packed with 10 grams by weight, and they also do have other sizes available. There's a 36 gram and a 72 gram container as well. And for this particular size, I paid 80 cents a gram. This was $26.99. I do have prime shipping. When you order from Stardust Mike, because it takes you to the Amazon, um, their Amazon store. These are vegan, they're cruelty free, and they're all cosmetic grade. Then each one of them has been tested in cold process soap, and I personally have never used these in cold process soap. So that is what we're gonna do today. I disperse my colorants in canola oil. I'm not sure if I can hold this. Oh, purple's probably not gonna work with my glove. Let's get a brighter color. Uh, I have orange here. Now, I have mixed this with a little mixer here, one of these little doodads. I'll link one below. We have lavender and spring apricot. Using my hand like a beauty guru here. Ha! <laughs> lavender and spring apricot from Nature's Items. They have a $7 base shipping. I think is awesome. No matter what you buy, it's 7 bucks to ship it to you. So, you know, they're priced very competitively and all the fragrances I've used from them have been phenomenal. I'm gonna buzz up my Kaylin Clay real quick and we'll get started. And if you've noticed that there's some clips in this video that are a little different than what you're seeing here, it's because I've fused two videos together. I've made this once already. I sold out before I had even hit the curing rack. Uh, <laughs> we had a contest on Instagram and Facebook to name this beauty. So this is actually a Neon Dreams is the name that won out over everyone. And this is, uh, again, this is a remake. So I wanted to... I messed up the first video, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that you could actually see what I was doing. My hand was in the way the entire time. And if you see me picking up my bowl like that, I generally don't do it when I have my lye solution in there. And it's basically what it is, is to get out those air bubbles. Just like that. Now when you have lye solution in there, you want to be really careful tipping or messing with your container. Man, I am a chatty girl today. Lye solution is going in, friends. My lye solution is in. I do have some coconut milk back here that will be going in as well. We're going to emulsify this and we're going to add our milk. And stir this around with the head of my stick blender. Then we're going to add our fragrance as well. In goes my fragrance. This is such a beautiful fragrance. I'm not much on lavender. I'm not sure if you guys know this or not. Don't really care for it uh, on its own. I do like it in blends. I will judge this just for a second. Only to make sure that everything is mixed in properly. Now, before I split this off, I'm going to stick it on my scale. We're going to find out how much it weighs and then I'm going to divide that by six and each one of my cups will be filled. That way we have even amounts. I'm going to scrape out this bowl and I will bring you right back. Okay, now it's time for color. <clears throat> we have all of our portions divided. And I'm gonna tip my container like this so you can see how beautiful this is. That, my friends, is a beautiful thing. <laughs> wow. That's just so vivid and bright. Yes, so this right here is the orange magma. 
Oh, it's that'll take your face off, friends. And this yellow never picks up correctly on my camera. I don't care how many adjustments I do, it just never works. Oh my goodness. So this is the electric yellow, and I'm going to tell you, you will you need some sunglasses. <laughs> it's so bright. Okay, we have Poppin' Pink. Now, Mama is here to tell you, this, when you use this, you know you've been places. You know you've been places, friend. It's just, oh my goodness, Woo. I'm in love. If you're like me and love color, like I need color in my life. It just speaks to me. It's, I can't, I just can't get enough. <laughs> Absolutely just gorgeous. You thought I was going to say stunning, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I will, friends. <laughs> Next, we're going to do the this is Purple Orchid. And if you've ever made soap, or if you're interested in making soap, I'm sure you've read places that purples are hard to pull off. And yes, <laughs> yeah they are. This purple, however, has zero issue. There's definitely something to be said about using quality ingredients. There really is. It just makes, it, makes creating so much easier. So much more fun when you know what to expect and you know how it's going to turn out every single time. It's going to be the same every single time. Oh, yes, friends. Yeah, this is definitely too bright for my camera to handle. <laughs> this was green lightning. We're thickening up just a little bit. That will loosen up with the addition of this blue. Here we have Cosmic Blue. Hoo hoo goodness. It's just so nice. Blue I find is a hard one for me with neons because it's not very vibrant or bright or vivid. And this one here is all three. <laughs> This one here covers everything. And we're going to pour this in a fashion in which you can actually see it this time. Because in the last time I did it, you couldn't see anything. <laughs> okay, we're going to pour with my left hand. We're going to see how good this does. And to start, I'm just going to do a line across the bottom. This is going to take a while, so I will be fast forwarding this. And I will see you back for texturing the top. And I'm going to do a zigzag from side to side all the way down. This is Neon Dreams, and I will bring you back for the cutting. Now we get to scrape out all these containers. Gosh, Penny, why do you gotta be so weird? We're gonna cut the Neon Dream soap. <clears throat> this is so bright, so vivid, so pigmented. Oh my goodness. It's not even picking up correctly on my camera. It really isn't. <laughs> It looks distorted on there. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's how bright these are, my friends. I cannot say how easy it was to use these neons and how amazing the quality is. Like, it's 
neons don't always translate into cold process soap because of the spawnification process and these had no trouble like I <laughs> nope none uh, this is the second time I've made the soap as you know and I didn't clean my wire and that makes me angry oh it's a little different than the first one but still just as cool yes friends <clears throat> Wipe the wire penny so you don't mess up like you did last time. It just makes it easier to clean um, to clean up the bars at the end if you wipe the wire in between. We had a little contest for this on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're not following on following me on Instagram or Facebook, the link is down in the description box below. Or you can just look us up at White Bowie Soaps on both of those. Because we do, you know, we do fun stuff, giveaways, name the soap. If you name the soap, which we did have a winner for uh, who picked the Neon Dreams name, and she will get a free bar of soap. She's already been contacted. In my excitement of it all, I was like, oh, I'll send it out on Monday. Oh, honey, I can't send it out on Monday because it's not cured. <laughs> so I reached out to her and let her know that, hey, I kind of dropped the ball on that one. Uh, but it will be going out to her as soon as it's cured. These will be listed on our Etsy store. They will be listed on November 1st. I have eight available right now. That could change because this is a very sought after combo. Neon, rainbow, and any fashion that people can get it, they love it. If you notice, I do a lot of rainbows on my, on my channel. <laughs> it's, uh, color speaks to me. And there's our last cut. Now you can probably see there's one, you know, pretty good size bar left here. I, what I do with this, and I'll show you as I've done in other videos, I take and I split this in half. I'll split this in half. And make samples out of it. And there we go. And here is Neon Dreams. If you like what you saw here today, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time that we upload. YouTube is always changing their policies, so that will just ensure that you do not miss an upload from us. You can get Stardust Micas on Amazon. You can go to www.stardustmicas.com and it will bring up their website. The Neon Dreams will be available on November 1st in our Etsy store for our holiday release. There will be plenty of other things there as well. It's not just uh, neon <laughs> rainbow uh, goodies. There will be plenty of other things as well. And if you follow me on my other social media, which is linked in the description box below, you'll be up to date with all of our releases and our comings and going. Until next time, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!